So you're wondering what happens during the first zero to seven days of kicking alcohol out of your life. What can you expect in the first week of being a non-drinker? Well, today, that's exactly what I'm going to be breaking down for you. I'm going to be explaining what you can expect during day zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But most importantly, at the end of the video, I'm going to be explaining what you need to do after day seven, because that is going to be critical to you succeeding on your journey. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we get into the video, if you actually want my personal help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program where we really reframe how you view alcohol and then we use coaching to really focus on improving things like health and relationships and careers and all of that kind of stuff, please click the link in the description. You can book a call. We can actually jump on a phone call and see if working together could be a good match. So if you want more details on that, click the link in the description or head over to soberclear.com. And now let's get into it. Now, before I give you any kind of specific information about what happens during day zero to seven, everything lies on how you actually stop drinking alcohol. Everything depends on your approach and what mindset you're in to start this journey. So my experience during the first week of not drinking alcohol I'm not going to lie, but it was pretty easy. And the reason why is because I was in so much pain when I made the decision to stop drinking. Like, I know that this isn't everybody's experience, but my life was pretty much a ground zero. I was living at my friend's place. I, you know, I, he was on holiday and I stayed at his place. I was borrowing money off family members. I was working in a restaurant. Like my life had just crumbled away all because I was drinking alcohol. And I know for many of you, that is probably not where you're at right now. You're probably in a position where things might not have blown up, right? Yeah, sure. The alcohol's causing weight gain, destroying your energy. Maybe it's hurting some relationships. But in my experience, I was in so much pain when I stopped drinking that the first week was, it was a walk in the park. And really, when I made the decision to stop drinking, I wasn't trying to stop drinking for a week or 30 days. I went all in from like the point that I said, that is it, enough is enough. I made a decision to not drink again, which is pretty important to how I dealt with the first zero to seven days, because I knew that whatever I went through was going to be fine, right? It was part of a process of getting alcohol out of my life, of ridding my body of this toxin, right? So any kind of negative feelings or withdrawal or anything like that was very easy for me to deal with because I had the right mindset. But regardless of where you're at right now in terms of mindset, really the first seven days is mission critical because this is where so many people fail because I've done this, right? I have stopped drinking for like two or three days, started again, stopped for 24 hours, started again. And usually if I could get through the first week, that's when I could prolong it, right? I could go a couple of months, three months, six months, as long as I got through the first week. So I know that day zero to seven is mission critical and where most people will slip up. But just remember, the foundation of your journey is everything. Having the right mindset, having the right worldview, having the right paradigm, if you've done that correctly, then the first zero to seven days will be just so much easier. Now, if you have any kind of fear or apprehension about withdrawal, then listen, seek medical advice. This video is not medical advice. And if you think that you need help with withdrawal and things like that, then just don't be afraid to, to reach out to a doctor. So now what should you expect? So day zero is basically the point that you say, I'm not drinking alcohol, I'm stopping drinking. And typically the first 24 hours, depending on the severity of how much you've drank and so on, because it's so close to the decision, I always found the first day to be sometimes quite easy to get through. Because usually when I was stopping drinking, something bad had happened in my life, right? There was some event or some scenario that just made me say, F this, I'm done with alcohol. So usually the first day was pretty easy to get through because I'm probably nursing a hangover from the day before anyway. And yeah, there were days when I would just drink through a hangover, but there were other days where, you know, I just feel like ass and I just get through it. So usually the first day, while there might be some kind of withdrawal, the maybe some kind of discomfort, in my experience, it was always quite easy to get through it. So day zero for me was always pretty easy. Now, days one and day two, now that's when things can get a little bit more tricky. And it all depends on an individual and how much they've drank. For some people right now, they're gonna be experiencing some kind of withdrawal. They might feel like a bit of a flu-like symptom. And some people at this point, they're just gonna need medical help. If that's you, go and find it. Don't use this video as a replacement for medical help, right? There are people out there that need to go and see a doctor whilst going through this process. For most of us, it will be okay. But if you have any doubt, just go and seek help. Now, like I said, in my experience, because I was in so much pain when I stopped drinking alcohol, the withdrawal was pretty much imperceptible. I just didn't care. I was gonna get through anything to, to get rid of alcohol from my life. But just be prepared for it, right? Be prepared for any kind of ill feelings and not feeling at 100%. Just know that that's normal and this will pass, right? These, these feelings, you will get through them and it will get better on the other side of it. Now, days three, four, and five, that's when you can start to 
still have those physical withdrawal and you may start developing intense cravings at this point. And you may also find severe energy fluctuations. You know, day three, you might feel good. You might be like, yes, you know, I've, I've kicked this. Day four, you might wake up and feel completely and utterly drained. And I think a big trick here is when you feel a bad feeling because you're not drinking alcohol because of any kind of withdrawal or energy fluctuations, you're feeling drained, anything like that, is to use that as an opportunity to remind yourself that you are flushing your body out of this poison and your body is working its magic to heal itself. Sure, in the moment, it might not feel great, but at the end of the day, if you can have the right mindset and you know that your body is just fixing itself, then it can be a little bit more comforting. Now, typically at day six and seven, that's when you can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's when you know that things are just starting to kind of clear up. Now that like I said, it's really hard for me to make this video because everybody's gonna have a different experience. But usually around days five, day six, day seven, that's when you can start to say, okay, I've got through the worst of it. Now it's just gonna get easier from this point onwards. However, at the same time, for some of you guys, day zero to seven is just gonna be a walk in the park. The moment that you make the decision, it's gonna be fine, there's gonna be no problems. And maybe for you, problems happen later on when the mental craving starts, right? The psychological stuff starts, this idea of, alcohol being a good thing, these ideas start creeping back into your mind. And really, it all depends. But the most important thing is that whether you find the first seven days easy or you find it a bit more of a challenge, is you get through it. Whether for you that means going to an AA meeting, right? Hiring a, a coach, working with your doctor to get through it. Everybody's gonna have to take a bit of a different approach here, but just remember one thing. What you are doing will change your life. If you're getting through seven days without drinking alcohol and you continue that, listen, if, if you're doing that, I just wanna say I respect you. I just wanna say that I respect the fact that you are giving this a shot and I admire that. I admire that in you. I just want you to know that you've got this and you can do this. Listen, if I can change, anybody can change. Have a great day.